I got some big pros, but I also got some big cons for feeding whole prey. These cons actually held me back from feeding whole prey. I started a few years ago, and then these cons just started nagging on me, and they really, really prevent, they prevented me. I was like, you know what? These cons are just way too big, but now I'm back to feeding Jericho whole prey. And for me, these pros definitely outweigh the cons. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. Do these pros outweigh the cons or are the cons too large for you? I would love to know your thoughts on feeding your cat whole prey. Hello, my friend. It is Jess and my boss, Jericho. It is a blessing that you are here. Hallelujah. So the first pro of feeding your cat whole prey, natural proteins that feral cats eat. So I covered this extensively in another video. You can go back and watch that. But basically, there's a big, big compilation of studies of feral cats and their diets. Now, these are feral cats like our cats, except they live outside. We're not talking about tigers, pumas, you know, cougars. We're talking about the cats that we have indoors, except they live outside. They're feral and they hunt for their own food. So they mainly eat whole prey. Very, very tiny amount of plant matter. Very, very, very tiny amount of human foods also. And this is countries all around the world. They had lots of data. So it is natural to feed our cats whole prey. Their natural diet consists of mice, rats, other rodents, small birds, rabbits. That was the bulk of it. Then there's small like invertebrates, tiny bit of fish. It really depends on where they live, right? Because these, these were all around the world, all different, di different countries. But the overall average was rats, mice, other rodents. That's the category is just other rodents rabbits and small birds so when you are feeding whole prey these are literally proteins that your cat is designed to eat i get a lot of comments and it's understandable about well a cat would never hunt down a bison a cat would never hunt down a cow well a cat would never hunt down a chicken either maybe a day old chick a baby chick if they come across a baby sure that's that's an appropriate size for a cat but an adult chicken that's like maybe six, seven pounds. Adult cat, especially living outside, is going to be like nine or ten pounds. So that just doesn't really make sense. Same thing with turkey. Same thing with duck. Rabbit is probably the only appropriate protein that we see in commercial cat food, including raw. So yes, I agree that cats would not hunt down these other prey. So that's why this pro is really, really great. That whole prey, mice, rats, other rodents, small rabbits, and... Uh, Quail, you know, small birds like quail, those are small enough for cats to eat. And like baby pheasants, you know, day old chicks, like the smaller ones, uh, lizards, if you can find them. So all of those are whole, all of those whole prey options are natural proteins that our cats were designed to eat. That is what they select in their natural habitat. And that is what they eat. Next pro, you can feed a wide variety of both species sizes and age so obviously the younger the prey is the smaller it's going to be and as it grows it gets larger so that's what I really like is because variety is key obviously we know there's another study that talks about cats that will hunt between five to seven proteins to complete their diet and they they do this based on instincts they know what their body needs and they just hunt accordingly obviously our indoor cats don't have that ability so they rely on us so feeding a wide variety of proteins is great for that reason because cats need it it can also prevent picky eating so with whole prey you get a really really large amount of variety in terms of the species and also the age slash size of these prey whereas let's say you're feeding a homemade raw meaty bones diet obviously i'm not knocking that that is an amazing amazing option if you can't feed whole prey i fed that for years but the thing is with raw meaty bones, we're limited with our options, right? So we have chicken wings, chicken necks. That's what I primarily fed Jericho. I tried with chicken feet as well. It's a lot more bone than it is like, but I mean, the cartilage is good. Uh, but you see, the problem is you can't just buy like one or two chicken feet and kind of throw it in there once or twice a month. Like you got to get like two pounds of chicken feet. And that's kind of like, okay, this is like a year's worth of chicken feet, right? Same thing with duck, duck neck duck wing tips, duck feet, kind of a little smaller than turkey, obviously. And then rabbit, small front legs, quail, the entire quail is fine. 
So we're kind of limited. I mean, three out of four of those are all birds. Whereas if you're feeding whole prey, now you've got mice of all sizes, rats of all sizes, African soft fur rats, a different species of rat, all different sizes, hamsters, small, medium, large. Jericho eats medium hamsters. You could do guinea pigs if they're small enough. I have read a review that the, the skull was a bit too large, but at least the rest of it is good. Rabbits, pinky rabbits, day-old chicks, baby pheasants. So you got a lot more protein variety and a lot more variety in the size and AKA the age. So there's just more variety there if you want your cat to really chew on the food for the teeth cleaning benefits, for the mental stimulation benefits. And it's just, that variety is really great along with the fact that these are natural proteins. The next pro to feeding whole prey is that it is the entire animal. So there's a lot that we can provide that raw diets and homemade diets don't provide. So skin is kind of like borderline because chicken wings, chicken necks, that can be with skin. But you know, if you're feeding ground raw, it probably doesn't include the skin. Skin, all of the ligaments, the connective tissue, the tendons, all of the glands, most of the time glands are not included in any type of raw or homemade diet all of the organs as well, all of the secreting organs. Most of the time, liver and kidney is, is the most common that you'll see. Some, you know, I used to feed spleen as well, but it's, it's kind of difficult to get unless you buy like two and a half pounds worth, which is ridiculous for one cat. And then, but then there's also all of the muscular organs as well. So things like the tongue, you know, all of the, oh, I, was, I wanted to say about the secreting organs, the brain, that's very high in taurine, the eyes, very, very rich in B vitamins. So like those things are very rare to find in definitely pre-made raw, but also with with uh, homemade raw. And if you do find things like pancreas, et cetera, it's like a very, very large amount for a small cat. It's It lasts way too long. So with whole prey, you're getting all of those extra nutrients plus the blood. A lot of nutrients, especially moisture, but a lot of nutrients are in the blood. The fur and the feathers, that's great. Indigestible fiber can help things move along. And it's just overall great because it's the entire prey. Next, chewing on prey. I, I kind of mentioned this before, but you get a lot of mental stimulation from that. It works the face muscles. And it's kind of like having a reward, right? So like we have our to-do list. We complete the tasks. We worked physically for that goal and we accomplished it. We feel good. Same thing when our cats chew on the food. So, you know, in the wild, they would hunt. They have to do some problem solving, lots of physical work, and then they're chewing down. That's like physical reward that they're receiving. So that's a lot of mental stimulation. It's also great for teeth cleaning and keeping the gums and the teeth clean because your cat's actually, the bones and the fur and the skin and the feathers are actually rubbing up against the teeth when the cat chews. Very, very great for mental stimulation and teeth cleaning benefits. The next thing, the next pro is that it is easy to source. If you're in the U.S., I'm familiar more with the U.S. because that's where I live. Buy from a breeding facility that sells to reptile owners. It's very normal. I talked about this in another video. It's very normal for people who have pet snakes to feed whole prey. That's where you buy them from. A lot of the times they're at trade shows. You can order in advance if you prefer to buy in person, but there are different facilities across the U.S. where you can buy whole prey. It's going to be difficult to find like a raw pet food supplier. I know there's Hair Today and Raw Feeding Miami that both have whole prey but the prices are better and there's more variety if you go straight to the breeding facility. The next pro, that is more pro for me, not so much for Jericho, but it is so easy to portion and serve. It's amazing, I love it. No more cutting up things. I really, I cut up a rat, you know, in three pieces because they are, they are larger. That's like an entire day's worth of food for Jericho. But aside from that, it's just, you just put it in the bowl, you weigh it, and that's that. Like in a, a, a jumbo mouse and a, and a medium hamster, that's like one day. One in the morning, one at night, easy. Right now I'm feeding a combination of ground raw and whole prey just because Jericho just got a dental. So I'm kind of reintroducing whole prey. So the pre-made raw is complete and then I'm adding whole prey on top of that. And I still have to formulate like a 100% whole prey diet. You know, it's in the works, but it is easy to portion and serve compared to a homemade diet. All right, now let's talk about the cons. Like I said, these are very, very important cons, so you'll have to consider and let me know what you think in the comments. The first one is the cost. It's more expensive than feeding a homemade raw diet. So for me, with Jericho's homemade raw meaty bones diet, I was buying a combination of stuff online, at the grocery store, at the farmer's market. You know, I'd order meat for myself and then get some stuff for Jericho. 
It was about a dollar and thirty cents maybe per day, a dollar fifty cents per day on the homemade diet. With whole prey, it's more like a little over three dollars per day. I mean, that's still reasonable because I do value food. I value high quality food for myself and for Jericho. I'd rather spend my money there. You know, I don't go out to the movies. I don't go out and party like those are expenses that I don't have. I don't have a car. So right there, it's like I can afford to feed whole prey, but it's something to consider. That's what held me back for a long time. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like double what I'm spending now. But like I said, the pros outweigh the cons for me now. The other con is that nutritional data is lacking on whole prey. So we can do our best to formulate with what we have, but at the end of the day, it isn't a guarantee because we have the amino acids, some of the fatty acids, most of the minerals, some of the vitamins, like none of the B vitamins. So we really don't know. And some whole prey has more data than others. So it is kind of frustrating because you won't be able to have like a complete and balanced. This is complete to AFCO, NRC, Fatty F guidelines because we just don't have all of that data. We don't have all of the nutritional analysis on whole prey. So that is a big con. You know, you're not going to have like a guaranteed on paper. This is complete and balanced for your cat. Another big con that held me back for a long time. The feeders, when you buy them from a breeding facility, and even some local farms, like for example, Hair Today sources their rabbits from local farms, they are gonna eat pellets. They're gonna eat basically kibble. Now, a lot of the times, specifically with Hair Today, they're very detailed from their suppliers on what they feed. And a lot of the times it's made specifically for them. Most breeding facilities, they'll tell you, we feed a scientifically formulated diet. The breeding facility that I buy from, they actually tell you the brand name, which I appreciate. It's owned by Nestle, but I mean, it's like, I talked about this in another video. We either feed natural proteins, mice, rats, etc. Cats are designed to eat, but they're not raised in a natural environment. They're not raised outside in the wild, getting exercise and sun and grounding. They don't eat their natural diet. Or... We feed unnatural proteins like cow, lamb, chicken, goat, duck, turkey. Cats would never hunt these animals down, but they are raised in their natural environment, cage-free, pasture-raised, grass-fed, grass-finished, etc. So it's kind of like you kind of have to decide, like, which do you prefer, the natural root, natural proteins or natural environment? It's tough. This Again, this held me back for a long time. But like I said, the pros outweigh the cons for me now. And... You know, you can always do a combination diet like I'm doing. You know, you can do some whole prey, some pre-made raw. And that's how you can kind of get away, get around the cons of like, well, is it complete and balanced? Well, you can feed mainly a complete and balanced diet if you're worried about that. Mainly complete and balanced raw. I think it's easier to do pre-made raw than homemade raw just because of the meal prep and everything like that. Because whole prey has kind of spoiled me with the meal prep. <laughs> But it's it's a nice combination to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Plus, you're still getting the chewing benefits and the mental stimulation from chewing on whole prey. The other pro, actually, that I would like to sneak in here is that, yes, you can get the chewing benefits and mental stimulation and teeth cleaning from raw meaty bones, but with whole prey, it's more appropriately sized. So with a chicken neck, for example, like that's the size of a mouse, except with a chicken neck, it's pretty much 50% meat, 50% bone. You know, it's like 45, 55. With a mouse, it's like everything is properly portioned with the meat, bones, and organs. So that's, that's another pro that I forgot to mention that I'll slide in there. Again, not knocking homemade, not knocking pre-made raw. All are excellent options. You want to do a combination of all of them. I'm just saying this is kind of where my mind sits at. This is kind of where I'm thinking in my progression of, okay, how can I get as close as possible to ideal for Jericho's diet? But I would love to know your thoughts in the description below. If you want to switch your cat to whole prey, you're feeding dry food or wet processed food right now, highly, highly recommend switching to your cat to raw first. You're going to offer whole prey, your cat's going to be like, what is this? Because your cat has zero fresh food in his diet. Check out the link in the description for my Switch to Raw Blueprint. That's my video course. It'll help you go from processed food to pre-made raw diet. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you watching.